Panda diplomacy, a traditional way for China to foster good relations. The bears were loaned to a Belgian zoo in advance of Xi Jinping's visit, the first by a Chinese president in four decades of relations between Beijing and the European Union. Trade topped the agenda. Neither party spoke after Monday's summit, but both want to deepen their economic relationship, says Jonathan Fenby, former editor of the South China Morning Post and author of Will China Dominate the 21st Century? China for some time has wanted to build up relations with the EU really as a counter to the power of the United States. President Xi pressed EU leaders to consider a free trade deal with China, but Europe has voiced concerns that Chinese firms flout international trade rules. Last year, a dispute over the price of solar panels led to the EU imposing import tariffs. China responded with restrictions on imports of European wine. That friction has caused divisions in Europe, says Jonathan Fenby. China on the whole prefers bilateral relationships rather than broader relationships which might uh, diminish its freedom of action. Uh, and Europe, on the other hand, has really had a long-standing divide among the members of the European Union about whether the relationship with China should be purely commercial, whether politics should come into it, whether human rights should come into it. Outside the talks, campaigners try to force human rights onto the agenda, accusing China of committing gross violations against Tibetans and minority Uyghur communities. We want uh, President Xi Jinping to immediately start the dialogue uh, with His Holiness the Dalai Lama and immediately release, uh, release all the political prisoners. Moscow's recent annexation of Crimea has severely damaged relations between the EU and Russia. China abstained from voting on a UN Security Council resolution affirming Ukraine's territorial integrity. Speaking in Berlin Friday, President Xi did not condemn or support Russia's actions. The Chinese government accepts the basic principle of international relations not to get involved in the internal affairs of a sovereign country and to accept the sovereignty and integrity of all countries. The overthrow of former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych, which led to the split over Crimea, puts China in a difficult position, says Jonathan Fenby. China obviously cannot be expected to be sympathetic with a, a new regime in Kiev, which has come to power on the back of a revolt and demonstrations against an authoritarian regime. Fenby says China is also wary of siding with Russia, fearing it may provoke Washington to further pivot its military balance towards Asia. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.